Hi everyone! Today, we're going to show us how to use the set of set application on sediment retention. In this exercise, we will use the sediment retention model to assess the project cost associated with removing accumulated sediment from waterways in the state of Aragon, USA. The sediment retention model estimates the watershed ability to retain sediment based on several environmental factors. For this exercise, two relationships are important. Firstly, the erosion contact gives areas subjected to high rainfall, and secondly, the erosion increases as the sand content of the soil increases. The set is an integrated geospatial software system for monitoring and modeling the Earth system for sustainable development. The set offers the most extensive set of geospatial tools in the industry in a single, affordable package. There is no need to buy costly add-ons to extend your research capability. So, let's get started. Firstly, we need to download the Tracet tutorial data from the website. In Tracet software application, there are many types of modeler that use for different applications. For the sediment retention, we choose ecosystem service modeler. So, click on here to get the data. Then, save the data to your own folder. First, Create a new project in Tracet Explorer with your working folder set to the, to the sediment retention folder with the ESM tutorial folder. Then, open ESM and select the sediment retention tab. We first need to specify the input image that defines the area of interest. Specify watershed image as watershed. Then, click open. And then, for the sub water shape, say a uh, sub water shape. And click off it. Next, we will specify the data files that will estimate the likelihood and the level of direction for of sedimentation. Open the soil loss panel and input the appropriate file. Specify land cover as the land cover image. Then click open. And for the DTM image, as DTM. Click open. And erosivity as the rainfall erosivity image. Open. And erodibility as the soil erodibility image. Open. Specify the sediment transport table for the sediment transport table input. The open and the biophysical table SP table from the biophysical table input. The open. Keep the flow explanation transport and float transport at the default thousand seventy five. Specify the output name sediment at port for the sediment at port image. RWQ as the water quality within the image and R dredge as the dredging retention image. Then click run. The image will take several times to appear on the desktop. So let's wait for it. Now, you can see the image that appears on the desktop. Open the variation panel. 
specifies RWCO as the water quality rating scheming and RFRESH as the quality rating scheming. Then, specifies sediment duration CSP as the sediment duration table scheming. Three of it. This table will allow us to calculate the avoided cost of dredging and filtering. Finally, specify the two output timings W2 1 as the water quality violation image and dredge bar as the dredging violation image. Click run. You can see the image has appeared on the desktop. Analyze the image based on the cutting. Good luck!